We do a lot of drawing and sketching here at Co Creative, and we're always turning these drawings into vectors so we can use them on the computer and infinitely scale them and use them for other things like laser cutting. And when I saw the shaper, brought out the image trace, I had to give it a crack. So we're gonna unbox it and test it. Let's get to it. The image trace comes in a very sleek, simple, monotone, rigid box. It feels very sturdy, akin to a hardcover book. Now you can't open one of these boxes up without a trusty box cutter. Let's slide out the trace and get a look at it. Not much packaging, just seems to be only three things. We have a little get started envelope, we'll have a look at that later. Next we have the trace pen, this just looks like a standard thick felt tip pen with a bit of branding on it. Let's put that aside and look at the actual product, the trace itself. It feels extremely well made and has a bit of weight to it. It should be at the price it cost. If I took a while, guess use this QR code to use it. The dots around the outside are used as reference points to help the phone scale the image and turn it into a vector using the Trace app. On that, we live in Australia. My wife picked this up when she was traveling to the US as Australia was blocked as a place of purchase. Sometimes I forget how small the addressable Australia market is and companies don't really want to sell to us as they don't make enough money. Thought it would still work when I got it home, but it was region block but as a budding youtuber and being fed a thousand vpn ads i knew a way around that all i did was need to change my vpn to the us and we're off to the races before you use the trace we're gonna have a chat to sam who is one of our designers she's sketching out some drawings for us to practice using with the trace and we'll ask her how it's like using the pen this is a shape of trace felt tip pen that comes with the shape of trace sam's used it for a few of the drawings and she used her pen she normally uses for a few of the drawings she just give me some feedback on what she thinks about the pen and if she'd use it for normal drawing or would she use her own pens yep so the pen is just a simple fine liner pen it is quite thick i would estimate it's about 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 the ink is is very dark and it works well on just any normal paper but i would probably stick to my own pens i like to use figma microns and if you prefer to have a, a good range of line weight i would recommend probably using your own i haven't scanned the photos using the shape of trace yet but i'm guessing it probably has a thicker line weight because it works better with the machine but we'll see because we're going to scan both types and we'll get back to you which is a great little test we'll run sam is also a wonderful artist and she has a youtube but she's not doing too much on that at the moment but i'll put her instagram down in the description below because she's been hammering that out and it's a really good follow so give that a follow and support her work as we expected to get started you need to scan the qr code on the back of the trace frame now place the frame on any flat surface and put what you want to scan inside the frame. Starting here with the drawings that Sam did with the trace pen. The app is really snappy, loads up really quickly. I'm using an iPhone Pro Max 15. Once the app's launched, it's really easy. All you do is make sure that the whole frame's in your photo and the app will do the rest. For each page, we're going to test the center line and outline. These are the two vector types that it saves as. It's very easy to save and access the files. They're accessible by logging into the Trace app, which you can do on a computer or on your phone, and they're accessible across both, making it easy to import into things like Canva, Illustrator, or even something like Corel Draw. Let's throw in the drawing Sam used the Pigma Microns. If you want to purchase those, there'll be an affiliate link in the description below. And you go through the same process of just holding the phone up, automatically scans it and transfers it into a vector. Here are two of the drawings. We've got the trace pen, which is the book, and the pig micron, which is the car. Looks pretty good, that's outlined, but when we get to center line, it, it loses its way. This is more for cutting paths, and we'll have a look at this in a different process. These are the ones I did on Illustrator using Image Trace on the Adobe Creative Cloud. They are a lot better, but the cost of Creative Cloud and all that, and you really want some quick drawings and you only have a one-off cost of the trace, then it becomes very feasible for these drawings because I have the Creative Cloud. I'll still use Image Trace on Adobe, converting all my drawings to vectors. If you want to see a video on how we did that, just click the top right-hand corner. I'm going to use the centerline feature here. I need a jig or a project I'm working on, a YouTube video. So subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see what that is. But I need to trace the outside of this Game Boy Advance case. And I'm just using the trace pen to do that. All I'm doing is holding it down and tracing around the edge, getting as close to the edge as I can to make it as accurate as possible when the, when the vector is scanned in. And you pull up the app and as you can see, it converts into a great vector with perfect dimensions. 
put that in Illustrator to minor touch-ups so that it was laser cut friendly and then I chucked it on the laser and cut it out. And look at that, it's a perfect match. Measurements, curves, everything's perfect. I can see this being handy in the future for many other projects. And this is probably what the main feature of the trace is, which could go well with the shape of origin if you need to cut out bow ties or inlays, or even if you want to cut simple logos into a table or route out shapes. And now for my closing thoughts. Overall, I'm really happy with it. It uh, transferred all our drawings really well into vectors. I was particularly impressed with the um, centerline tracing of objects. This is going to come really handy when I do some more laser cutting projects in the future. And I'm sure if you had the shape of origin, it'd be amazing for routing unique shapes in tables and getting that scale perfect. Now, is it worth it? For me, yes, because I have a laser cutter and I know that's going to come in handy. If you don't have other tools that you want to cut out exact sizing shapes and get measurements, then this isn't probably for you. If you just want to get high quality images to vectors, I still think Illustrator is a go, but I'm gonna keep using it to get perfectly scaled laser cutting parts, so I need to get dowels. I'm gonna see infinite opportunities to use this in the future, so I'm sure you'll see it come up again in future videos. I'm always appreciative that you stuck around to the end. I've got plenty of other videos in the pipeline, so just stay tuned, and hopefully I'll have the other one out sooner than this one. Thanks for watching.